So there's one destination that always gets a great reaction anytime we post it up on social media, and that is Scotland. Scotland, you know, it's right on our doorstep and it's absolutely beautiful. The Highlands is, is incredible landscape. I love going up there myself. I, I try and go up every winter and I've even done a ski season up there many years ago, but it was great fun. The thing to remember about Scotland is it is very, very different to the Alps, but actually, you know, it's not that far away and it's easy to get to. So, you know, it's really worth considering going up to Scotland for a winter holiday. A winter holiday in Scotland might not just involve skiing. There's so many other things to do. And actually it's really, really sensible to plan different activities if you're gonna to go to Scotland. Because some days, you know, we know that up there, the weather can be very, very changeable and the snow conditions can be changeable too. On a good day in Scotland, in the Highlands, Honestly, personally, there's nowhere better else to be. It's absolutely fantastic. There's five main mountain centres in Scotland. Cairngorm, probably the best well known, is close to Aviemore. Aviemore is the main accommodation centre if you're going to go skiing in Cairngorm. It's got tons of hotels. It's a really bustling place, actually. Loads of hotels and restaurants. And it's, a, it's about a 20 minute drive from, from Cairngorm mountain itself. So you drive up there, Cairngorm, there's over 30 different runs on Cairngorm. And it's also got the UK's highest cafe too. On a clear day, fantastic views across the east coast of Scotland and over to the West Highlands and towards uh, Ben Nevis, the highest mountain in Great Britain. So really well known ski area, Cairngorm. Good if you're gonna go up say for a long weekend or a longer stay because there's loads to do in Aviemore as well and around the area. And Cairngorm has recently just got a new cash injection of 20.5 million pounds as well to renew the funicular railway that's up there. So Glencoe, the oldest ski centre in Scotland, is more over on the west coast. There is some accommodation on site, there's some lodges that you can stay in, otherwise Fort William is very close by. It's got Scotland's steepest black run called the Flypaper um, so, you know, if you, if you want a, a bit more kind of steeper, more extreme, it's got some good off-piece skiing as well, Glencoe could be the place. Glenshee is the UK's largest snow sports centre. It's got 22 ski lifts and it spreads over four different mountains and three valleys. It's also just a two hour drive from Edinburgh, so it's one of the easiest to get to from the central belt of Scotland. And it's quite easy and accessible. Also, the, the runs are suitable for all levels of skier. There's blue, red and black runs in Glenshee. I even took my daughter there to learn to ski for the first time. Fantastic ski schools there too. The town of Braemar is close by, which is a great place to stay. And it's only about 10 minutes drive from the ski center. So more over on the west coast of Scotland, you've got the Nevis Range, which is a really, really cool area because it's on, on Britain's eighth highest mountain, Anak Moor. It's got 11 ski lifts and it's got the UK's only mountain gondola, which actually takes you from the car park to the ski area. And then it spreads out from there. You've got, it, it holds the snow really well. So if you're going to Scotland in the springtime to ski, it can be worth considering uh, the Nevis Range just because it holds, holds that snow. And the views from there are spectacular. And uh, nearby Lochaber and Fort William provide a lot of accommodation, a lot of eating out options as well. So there's tons to do in that area and it is a beautiful part of the country. So we've also got the Lett, which is towards the east coast, and it's, it's, it's right on the, one of the UK's highest roads. It's really snowshore, but they're investing a lot of money at the moment, 400,000 pounds into more snowmaking facilities for the resort. 300,000 pounds has come from the government, but they're, they're crowdfunding uh, a significant part of the rest of the money. It's really good for families, the Lect. It's got lots of nice, gentle, easy runs that are well-maintained and everything sort of ends up in that one day lodge at the bottom where you can eat and you can uh, hire your ski, skis and uh, boots and that sort of thing. So it's a really convenient place for families. It's, it's accessible from Aviemore and also from Braemar, but there's other, other accommodation centers close by as well. So it's a little bit more remote than some of the other places, but once you get there, it's a really, really nice family oriented place to ski. The other thing about the Lect is there's, there's tons of other things to do in that area, like whiskey distilleries, for example. Uh, there's lots of really famous ones around there. In the south of Scotland, not actually in the Highlands, but in the Southern Uplands, uh, there's Lowther Hill Ski Club, which is a smaller ski club. Um, obviously a little bit closer if you're coming up from uh, England into Scotland, uh, but it is a smaller, uh, more kind of club feel than the main ski areas in the Highlands. Also with Lowther Hills, you do need to be a member. So check it out online and you do also need to bring your own equipment because they don't have uh, on-site ski equipment hire there. 
I would always urge anyone that's really into their skiing especially to, to go to Scotland to ski in the winter if, if, if you haven't tried it already. It is very different to the Alps. You know, we've got to be very clear about that. It's, it's a different feel. But, you know, there's so much to see and do up there as well as skiing uh, that for a, for a holiday, either with your mates or with your family, it can be great fun. I've certainly enjoyed it every time that I go up.